Alrighty, you guys, after an interesting live stream today, or not even a live stream because it was actually pre-recorded. So we watched a live stream of a pre-recorded video today. Very, very, at least in my opinion, disappointing. There was like no gameplay. They didn't like show anything. I guess I could do a recap video of my thoughts. I know a lot of you guys that are watching this probably were at my stream. We did pause and talk a lot. I thought there wasn't going to be much to talk about but there was actually a lot to talk about and not really for the best reasons unfortunately the official stream or whatever you want to call it was an hour long and the stream that i hosted on my channel reacting and discussing was an hour and 45 minutes so we talked a lot during that and i got all my thoughts out there so if you want to watch that back you can watch that back of course if you weren't able to make it but general summary general overview there just isn't much gameplay it is for sure a game pack that they are upselling for $40. And honestly, I truly believe it's because horses are highly requested. Horses have been sought after for many, many, many years. And this is definitely a way that they can make the money because they know that the people that are desperate enough for horses are going to pay $40 for them. Whether there is a lot of actual game expanding features a part of this pack or not. Also, another thing, that I really didn't get to touch on during my live stream that I want to bring up here are unicorns. They kind of hinted or teased at unicorns with the Trixie Mattel promo clip from the other day, but in this live stream, there was not one single mention about them, whether they were actually coming, whether they were functional or had a system, or whether it's just horses that can cosplay as a unicorn with a horn and beautiful, pretty, bright colors there was no mention of it whatsoever so i'm really believing that it's just not a thing and i think if you're banking on that and hoping for that you should throw those hopes out of the window right now because everything that they covered in this stream is pretty much everything that we already knew from either the blog post or one or two or both of the trailers we've received so far we learned practically nothing new little tiny things here and there but generally that was it so that's really all i'm going to talk about in this video that has to do with horse ranch because there was actually another tweet from sims direct communications but before we get to that the official sims team tweets make your horse the most stylish in town with so many creative sim options coming to the sims 4 horse ranch they post this little promo clip video showing off horse customization and i will give maxis ea the sims team whoever their tens when tens are due i think that they definitely gave us the customization that we needed and deserved for horses but generally speaking and someone even mentioned this in the comments of my stream from today literally almost everything we got with customization for horses is the same that we got with cats and dogs so there really wasn't any innovation there really weren't any new systems involved it was kind of just a clear copy and paste on over to horses with the exception of some new stamps or stencils and i think there were like what they say seven eight or nine of them pretty sure it was less than ten so there really wasn't much added but you're getting the same customization with horses that we had for cats and dogs with that expansion pack so that is it on this video clip. The other thing that I want to talk about today is we actually have a laundry list. We've got a new laundry list. Check out the top reported community concerns we aim to resolve in next update, including the items removed pop up, broken invention constructors, visual glitches with round platforms and much more. So let's open this up and take a look here. All right. So we have a pretty long list. This is definitely a lot longer than it usually is, which I guess is a good thing. I know that many of you guys are still unfortunately having issues with glitches and things not working correctly in the game. So this is a very good thing to see. All right, Sims washing hands in sink in different bathroom. Oh, thank God. Items removed, pop-up appears when no items removed. This has at this point just kind of become like an inside joke in the Sims community. So it's like bittersweet seeing that fixed and removed, but I guess it's a good thing if it's a bug after all. Invention constructor animation broken slash no animation. Animals age up and die, though animal aging is toggled off or disabled in game settings. Huge one fixed. Missing animation. Invent constructor. Robot does not move or react. Dr. Sim can't collaborate the x-ray machines. On changing phone color, Sims went to work or school, returned to home lot when one of HH Sim travels to other 
lots, and returns to home. Once in fears, once are very repetitive. Visual glitch when placing a round platform over another surface. Cannot sell on trendy. And also last exception appeared when sim cannot ship to the buyer. Sims on changing phone color returns to home lot from work or school places without completion of work or school hours on saving and loading game. Hair texture bleeding on Sims ears. Mermaid Sims do not die by starvation or by aging up. Chickens sometimes don't eat treat. Eco Inspector still finds Sims lots even though all the appliances are upgraded. Sim unable to socialize with the rabbit. Cross Stitch is available as a club activity even though it cannot be performed autonomously. Abducted male Sims do not get pregnant. Non Hedford Sims constantly mention how are the people in Hedford. <laughs> yeah, how would you know? Cow and llamas are not coming out from shed until they are called out and they are unhappy even if animal shed is clean and refilled with feed. Carnival radio station and Batu radio stations are not available as an option in the music genre, category of likes and dislikes and casts. Game hangs or game sound is not heard when audio output is disconnected while playing the game. Moon textures is same in all worlds after the lunar cycle and can't delete interior corner walls with stilt foundation. So that's it. Of course, let me know below anything you guys are experiencing in your games currently that is on this list or unfortunately not on this list. Personally, I think this is a pretty good list. I know we haven't had a laundry list for a minute. We are in need of some bug fixes. So this is really, really good to see. Share your thoughts below, of course, not just on this here, the laundry list, but also on the new live stream that came out today. All right, it looks like they are actually answering questions and then responses. One user asked, can we have horses in all worlds? They respond, yibs. Honestly, I expected that. Yeah, I remember in the blog post, they did talk about the Native American representation and they even went as far as to make an entire section about that. So is it a part of the pack or is it a base game thing? I know they mentioned that there were some hairs that were coming to the base game, but that was kind of the only time they really talked about it. So curious to see what more there is on that. Yeah, people are not happy. <gasps> I missed a stream, but I heard they were eating y'all up for making us pay expansion pack prices for game pack content. Literally, y'all showed off nothing in the live stream. So a game pack at an expansion pack price. No, for real. Literally. Oh my God. They did have horses in the code of cats and dogs. I remember because that's where like all the horse speculation started. I wonder if there were plans to actually implement horses in with cats and dogs. And then they decided instead of going with the pets concept to just do cats and dogs. And now we have horses for a completely separate pack at $40. That really just is insane. But yeah, I was really hoping that there would be a separate category for the horses because now if you have cats and dogs and horses, that's going to take up slots. You have two Sims, two kids, two cats and dogs, and now you only have room for two horses. And that's pretty much it. Not a fan of that. $40 for this ghost town. Yeah, for real. All right, I'm ending it here. Share your thoughts below. What a day, guys. What a day. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, someone was actually recommending to me in the comments of my stream. Please review Life by You's gameplay walkthrough by Rod Humble today. It was really good. I'm going to do that because I need to just get my mind off of the disappointment of today, even though I had no expectations yet. Somehow ended up disappointed. That's it. Take care, guys. Happy life simming.